Yeah, we, uh, I'm here on behalf of Ustart. Uh, I'm the head of operations for Ustart in Africa. They are a global organization that invests in early stage ventures and startups in emerging markets across the world with a specific focus in Sub-Saharan Africa, South Africa specifically, uh, Latin America, and uh, Southern and Eastern Europe. And I'm here today on behalf of Ustart to to select and judge some of the top innovative ideas in South Africa as part of the Step Up Innovation Competition. The top 35 that were funneled down from the 400 applications were very high quality. Uh, took me that part by surprise and um, I think it's important to note that the, the level of innovation across different business cycles, from startup to pre-commercialization to growth, um, for those respective stages were, were, were very, very impressive. So, one of the one of the biggest comparisons I give to you, um, especially given my background from America, is the reason why Silicon Valley was so successful from a startup uh, culture is because pools of capital in Silicon Valley were available very close to the actual um, origination of ideas. If you look at pure innovation from a idea to implementation um, development. Good ideas can be found anywhere in the world, in Silicon Valley, in South Africa, in Brazil, anywhere in the world. But it's a question of getting the right entrepreneurial enabling organizations, the right mentors and advisors, and the right venture capitalists to support that. I think South Africa is the, the new frontier for innovation. That there's a reason why South Africa is called the Silicon Cape of Africa. There is a, a tremendous um, increase and an upsurge in innovation and innovative ideas over the last five to six years. And we're now seeing an influx of investors, both from an equity perspective as well as debt um, investors, looking at investing in early stage ventures and startups versus just looking at you more commercial, industrial type uh, investments. Um, we as Ustart are specifically interested in co-investing alongside local investors to sort of demitigate the risk of making investments into Africa. And from what I've seen in the last um, two to three years, and specifically today, there is a very bright future for young startups in Africa. I think in, in South Africa, being a country where the, the potential for job creation is massive, any, any idea that is um, that's innovative, that is disruptive, has the potential by default to create jobs and to improve living standards. So South Africa has the, has the added advantage compared to America and Europe of being able to create more wealth through social innovation. So I think job creation, improvement in living standards, improvement in access to schools and sanitation is more often than not a direct or indirect result of creating uh, more enterprises and growing quickly. So social innovation is easier to achieve in a country like South Africa than it, than it would be in Europe or North America. And I'm very, very, um, I'm excited to be to be involved in the sector at this point. Um, my only concern is that there, there shouldn't be an overemphasis on social innovation without without remembering or without forgetting the fact that unless you are economically profitable and sustainable, your social innovation will only last as long as your enterprise is not bankrupt. So it's, it's, it's economic profitability first and the, the social rewards and social enterprise part of it will automatically come later. Um, there is a reason why NGOs and philanthropic organizations have separate um, importances given to them. But it's, it's important to not confuse you to expect a social enterprise to function like a nonprofit. I think one of the most important things I'd say is if you have an innovative idea, socialize it. Don't sit in your garage or your basement trying to develop the most amazing product that you're looking for and not tell anyone about it. It's important to not, um, to not be foolish and uh, put your idea out there to everyone that could that potentially copy it. But to, but to talk to people, talk to people within your industry, talk to investors, talk to mentors, talk to advisors, and get people to give you feedback very early on on whether your product or service is commercially viable. Spend a lot of time doing market research from the bottom up, not the top down. And that can go a long way in getting your idea from an idea stage into actual implementation.